About 3,000 delegates are expected to affirm the candidature of former First Lady Nana Konidu Ajiman Rawlings as flag bearer of the National Democratic Party, NDP, as they go to Congress today, April 30. Sources within the party have confirmed to TV3 News that uh, since nominations were open, no party member filed to contest for flag bearer except Nana Konidu's uh, position being contested for include flag bearer, secretary general, uh, communications director, and women's organizer. The event will be held at the Trade Fair Center in Accra. And uh, now I have uh, a political science analyst uh, to talk to us about the chances of uh, Nana Konedu Achiman in the November polls after uh, acclamation as flag bearer of the party. Hello, good afternoon, Dr. Opoku. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, does it look like Nana Kunedo Ajima Rollins uh, uh, is chasing a vague ambition to become president of Ghana? Well, um, first of all, I think we have to recognize that um, their party started as a protest, okay. uh, as a protest group, if you like, because uh, the uh, basic argument was that the NDC um, had betrayed its core principles of social justice and, and, and transparency. And so uh, it seems to me that basically they share the same social base of the NDC. If that is the case, then it's going to be extremely difficult um, for them, uh, for her to win the election because at best they will attract um, few votes from the NDC, votes of those who think uh, like they do that the party has gone, uh, has turned it back to the principles of accountability and social justice and transparency. So I don't expect her really to um, win the next election, no. Well, you don't expect her to win, but uh, what will be her chances of getting closer to uh, the numbers that these two political parties will gain? You mean what I think um, her chances are? Or uh, yes, her chances are, yes, exactly. Well, I don't really. Uh, in the first place, I see the, the November elections as a race between the NDC and the MPP. Okay. They seem to be neck and neck. And um, I don't really expect uh, a protest party like Anna Kunadu's to garner more than 2% uh, of the vote. Okay. Uh, but uh, looking at, do you anticipate that she might return to the NDC eventually, uh, considering her close ties with her daughter, uh, Dr. Zenato? That she might return to the NDC? Uh, to the NDC. I don't think so, because um, she seems to have taken an irrevocable you know, position. Okay. And her absences of late, notwithstanding the fact that the husband continues to be the founder of the party and the daughter is contesting and the ticket of party. Her also answers her pronouncement um, recently show clearly that um, she's ready to point of no return. I don't expect her to return to the party. Well, and uh, how do you see the NDP uh, generally? And how do you, uh, is it functioning? Uh, how it is functioning? How do you see the NDP generally and how it's functioning? Well, as I said, the NDP seems to me to be a protest party. A party that seems to be uh, not satisfied with another party that they belong to. And as a protest party, I think um, what they will be doing will be to cause some harm, considerable or otherwise, to okay. the NDC. So I see it more as a party that is in to uh, draw from the NDC. And I see it. Um, not um, as a party that is ideologically mm -hmm. different from the NDC. Um, and so it is, it is a protest group, and like all protest groups, historically and globally, uh, they normally do do very well. And so um, I don't see them, for example, attacking okay. the MPP and what they stand for. If you listen carefully to what um, she's been saying, um, I don't see her attacking the new liberal agenda of the MPP. Uh, rather, I see them attacking the NDC, but not from an ideological standpoint, but from um, some principles that they think uh, ought to guide the NDC and okay. which the NDC has turned it back on. So it's more like a protest. 
party that is in to work against um, the NDC. That's the way I see it. Well, so you, you, you say that uh, you're saying that uh, the NDP as a party will not get closer to any of these uh, the political parties that we have. You mean again? I can't get you right. I am. I'm saying that. Uh, do you mean that the NDP, uh, saying that it's a protest party, uh, won't get closer to the NDC or the NPP? I won't get closer to the NDC, NDC, or the NDC. in terms of votes, in terms of getting numbers. No, no, no. They are not. I don't expect them to be able to win uh, votes from core NPP okay. uh, members. Um, from the NDC, it is likely, it is possible they can win votes okay. of people who think that the NDC has gone against its own cherished uh, um, views or uh, principles. Okay. That is what I expect them to do. Okay. And in that, they will not be able to um, win much. Um, I don't expect them to win uh, any considerable uh, number of votes from the swing voters or the um, persuadable voters. I don't expect them. The persuadable okay. voters are likely to throw their weight either behind the MPP or the NDC. Thank so, you very much. Thank you, too. Thank you very much. I have been speaking with Dr. Kojo Poku Edu, and he is a political science lecturer, University of Ghana. You're still live on Midday Live here at TV3.